right, first graders, before we begin this part of the lesson, you need to have a pencil, a piece of paper, and if you want, different color markers. If you don't have those things yet, that's fine. Just pause the video and then resume it once you come back. So, before the video, I know I told you guys to think about what Dr. King believed, who he was, and what he said. So we are going to create an anchor chart about that to help us remember. So the first thing we're going to do is write Dr. King's name as the title of the chart because that is what our whole chart is going to be about. So I'm going to do that now and I want you to do that at the top of your paper too, please. All right, once you have that, I want you to write down the three categories that we have talked about. This is where your different colors might be helpful. So you can write each one of the three things we're talking about in a different color if you want, but if you don't have colors or you don't want to, that's fine too. So the first thing I told you to think about is what he believed. So I'm gonna take my color and write over here, he believed. I'm going to put a box around it so I remember that this is what we are talking about. And then I'm also going to write he was in another color because that is another thing we wanted to talk about. I'm going to put a box around that too. And then the final thing we wanted to talk about were things that he said. So I'm going to take my last color and I'm going to write that down here. And I'm also going to put a box around this one. Okay. If you're not cut up yet, pause the video and copy this down. Then we're ready to go on, resume it. Okay. So the video also talked about the word segregation. We're going to go ahead and define that before we begin because some of the things we're going to talk about in here deal with the word segregation. Segregation is the separation of people based on something like their skin color. In the video, we saw Dr. King experience segregation when he was a kid, even when his neighbors who were white wouldn't let them play with him. We can, see, we can see this later in the video too when they were voting for voting rights because at the time, not everyone could vote and schools were also segregated, which the video touched on too. So this is not a good thing, and Dr. King worked to get rid of segregation. So keep that in mind because we're going to review it later in the chart. Okay, so back to our first category, he believed. I'm going to think back to the video, and let's see if I can come up with some things that he believed. Hmm. I know that if he doesn't like segregation, that means that he believed in equal rights for all people. So... Since he believed that, I'm going to write that here. And then I want you to copy that down too. And I'm going to draw a picture to help me remember that. So, I'm going to do this, draw a little person, then another color. I'm going to draw another person to show that equal rights for all people. Another thing the video touched on that he believed was that peaceful protests can bring about change. So if he believed in peaceful protests, I'm going to write that here. And then I'm going to draw a little peace sign here to help me remember that. All right, take a minute and copy those down before we move on. If these pictures don't help you remember that, that's okay. Write your own. Once you're ready to move on, we're going to move on to he was. 
So let's think back to the video about things that Dr. King was. So first of all, we know that he was a college doctorate or call it, he was a college graduate who got his doctorate. That's why we call him Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm gonna write that down. He was a college graduate. And I'm gonna put the word doctor right there in parentheses to help us remember that that's why we call him doctor. And then I'm also gonna draw a book to help me remember. Another thing that he was, was he was a reverend of a church. That's why sometimes you'll hear him referred to as Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. So I'm gonna write that here now. He was a reverend of a church. I'm going to draw a little cross here to help us remember that. Another thing that he was was he was a protester of segregation. Let's think about what that word means for a second. It was our vocabulary word and it was mentioned in the video and then I reviewed it. Take a moment, pause the video, see if you can define it, and if you can, share it with someone at home. It can even be a pet. When you're ready to go on, I'll give you the definition and then we'll keep going. Segregation is the separation of people based on something like their skin color. Remember, this was not a good thing. And it obviously has changed now thanks to the work of Dr. King. So we're going to write that right here. He was a protester of segregation. I'm going to draw a little picture here to help me remember. Draw a little person. I'm going to draw another person separated from them. And then I'm going to draw a big X through there because we know that's not a good thing. All right. Another thing that he was, was he was a, or he was a Nobel Peace Prize winner. Remember it talked about him winning a special reward for his work this peaceful protest. So I'm going to write that here. He was a Nobel Peace Prize winner. And right here I'm going to draw his little reward to, or award to help us remember. And finally, he was also a leader. Not only did he lead many of these protests, he helped, but also helped lead people to start their own protests, participate in protests, and also realize that segregation was a wrong thing. So I'm also going to write that under the he was section. Now I'm going to draw a little picture right here to help me remember. So as you can see, this little guy right here is the leader of this line of people. So that's how it's going to help you remember. Go ahead, pause the video, get caught up on writing this section down, and then we'll move on to the last section. All right, we are on the last section of our chart, the he said section. So I want you to think back to the video. I talked about it at the beginning of the video and also the end. This is one of his most famous speeches. See if you can remember what he said. Tell someone at home if you remember. He said, I have a dream. That was the opening of one of his biggest, most famous speeches. So I'm going to write that right here. I'm going to put it in quotation marks because it's something he said. And then I'm going to draw a little picture down here to help me remember. A 
That's his little thought bubble, speech bubble on what he said. So I'm going to zoom in to show you a final version of the chart so that you can look at it one more time as you begin to copy it down. Alrighty. Once you guys have finished copying down your chart, go ahead and go to the next part of the lesson. Great work.